Hi there. My name is Beth Green, otherwise known as Granny Rocks. And hello there. I'm James Maynard, otherwise known as Sweet Baby James. And tonight I'm going to talk about a very important topic, I think, anyway. And it is, in the midst of the virus, it's still all about what? My hair. <laughs> but it's just too long. Or is it money? Or it's the weather? No, it's about love. 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 It's all about love. It's all about love. So, but before I talk about that, uh, Miss Sweet Baby James is going to introduce our show. Welcome to Granny Rocks, where we have the opportunity to experience Granny's wit, wisdom, and uncommon sense every Monday and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for coming, and please stay with us. And now, over to Granny. Okay, so right now I'm trying to find the live video on Facebook so that I can see your comments. But, of course, hmm. it's not showing up yet. But that's, hey, you got to love Facebook, right? you got, <laughs> got to love it no matter oh, we're where. Live. We're, oh, oh, we're live. We know we're live. They just don't know we're live. <laughs> All right, so now let me see if I can get to it, and then we can get to the comments as well. So, well, we okay. already have a love we showing. We do. Oh, how nice. Oh, and we have a comment. Elizabeth said hi. Hello, Hello Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So, here's what I want to talk about. So, lately I have really been noticing a lot of love-related issues. And um, so, you know, this is an odd time. I'm sure it's a very odd time for everybody. Even though, okay, I have been housebound for nearly 40 years so being stuck at home is not a big deal for me but there's a lot of different energies in the universe I mean it's not just me right and uh, some interesting things are happening so there's love from the past mm -hmm. and my mother who's been dead for like three years uh, a little over three years and she's um, she was almost 103 when she died so you know she had a long life but she came to visit me. I was out walking around on the grounds. Okay, it sounds a little crazy, but I could sense my mother. And then, you know, that made me cry, right? And then Mojo, who was my dog, who died uh, seven and a half weeks ago, but who's counting. <laughs> um, I, I saw him all of a sudden, the, another day when I was walking into the house. And so there was a lot of love there. And so that's love from the past that I just feel somehow, oh, and Luann is waving. Well, we are waving Hi, back to you. That's very nice. Um, and then another interesting thing happened. It's like I was contacted by an old friend. I mean, when I say an old friend, I'm talking about a woman that I have barely spoken to in 55 years. And we were very close when we were teenagers. And then never quite connected and we connected and it was so deep you know I could feel the love that I had for her all those years ago so that's really interesting you know feeling the love not only for Mojo who was recently departed you know feeling the love for and from my mother uh, that's from the past deeply from the past and then feeling the love and the connection with this old friend of mine and I have been like kind of teary you know, just nostalgia and feeling all of that. But see, fortunately, I don't only have love in the past. I have love in the present. And I have love of the present. Love that I have not lost. I mean, the love that I haven't lost and the present that I haven't lost. And I did something very different, which is probably of no interest to you whatsoever. But to <laughs> me, it was <laughs> really, really different. I started taking pictures of my home. Like I value it, you know what I mean? Like something could happen, it could be gone. We could run out of money and you know not be able to pay the mortgage or we could die or you know anything could happen. And so I went outside and with my cell phone, you know, I started taking pictures of the grounds. I've never done this ever in my life. I'm not a picture taker, you know what I mean? I never cling to what is. It's always well, are you experiencing a greater sense of love of what you have in your life? I do. That is really the point. And 
the beauty of nature as spring comes because in our neck of the woods it's uh, becoming spring which doesn't mean it's warm yet but it's a lot warmer than it's been right because we live in central Oregon sort of upriver into the mountains a little bit I love the beauty of nature here I love my husband oh, he's, sure. part, he's part of the present <laughs> you know what I mean sometimes I'd like to think I'm in the present yeah yes. well sometimes I love you and sometimes <laughs> I don't love you but I really am an appreciation you know, as we are all locked down, you know, that I'm not locked down all by myself. I'm locked down with somebody. And then there's the love of my work. Even though I don't have as much paid work as I used to, I'm still working plenty. And I love my work. I love helping people. I'm a counselor. And I, 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 I work with people in their, about their deepest pains. And, and we are working with people also around the coronavirus. We have this wonderful group that meets on Thursdays that is absolutely free, and we're going to continue until the end of May. And uh, if you read the post, you'll know just how to be with us. And the privilege of being able to work with people at a distance, right? But I mean, still working with people. And I love my viewers. You are my present. You know, and I get so much love from you. I mean, People write to me in the most sincere ways. They do. You know, and it's even more now than ever, you know. Uh, you know, take care of yourself, Granny. Take care of I'm trying. I'm trying, you know. So I have love of the present, and I think that this situation is bringing that awareness even more and more to me about how much I value what I have, right? And then, and I'm hoping you're thinking about this and thinking about the love in your life, right? Because this is not just about me talking, right? Then I have a love of the future. Mm -hmm. The puppies. I keep looking at pictures of puppies. And we're hoping <laughs> in, you know, five, six weeks that we're going to have a puppy in our house. And then, Mojo, I won't cry every day because I lost my wonderful companion dog. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll be playing some concerts in town that I was supposed to be playing this spring. Uh, for the first time in my life, I was playing a, for a live audience. You know, I play the piano every Thursday night for you, Dreams of Peace, but I also play live. It's all improvisational piano. And so I love the fact that these... Now, I don't know if they're even going to happen, right? But I assume one day the church, these churches will open. We're at New Thought Churches, and I will play. Uh, and I love the unknown of the future. The fact that you just never know what's going to happen. And, you know, my life has been very exciting and terrible. Um, oh, Karen says, lucky in love. That is <laughs> lovely. That's what a lovely Thank statement. You. I think that having love is what makes us lucky. Or feeling love makes us feel lucky, even though maybe life is a little bit tough. And certainly mine, mine is. Yeah, but but I love the the unknown because I always think it's going to be great. You know, it it really isn't usually, but I always <laughs> expect things to get are going to get better and it's going to be wonderful and uh, you know I'm going to get well. I mean, it's only been what 60 years that I've been chronically ill and disabled, but hey, it could happen. Tomorrow, I could wake up and be better, right? So I have a love of the future. Well, now I want to tell you about another kind of love that I have that I hope you also are identifying with, and I'm just checking to see, uh, okay? I have a love of my own spirit and a love of what resides within me, and I'm hoping that you are feeling like, whoa, if you don't have it, you better do something about that. I appreciate my inner strength. It's unreal how strong I am and how tough my life has been. And, and, you know, with support, it's a lot easier. I have an appreciation of my optimism. I have an appreciation of my resilience, right? doesn't mean that I don't cry a lot. It just means I bounce back. You know, I cry, I bounce, I cry, I bounce. <laughs> uh, I have a deep appreciation of my ability to grieve deeply and thoroughly and not just push things under the rug like some unfortunate people who never grieve anything and never get through anything. And I see Richard has put 
a wonderful cutie a uh, little cat there who looks like he's saluting and uh, oh and he's also applauding to oh thank you Richard thank how you lovely Richard. how lovely to see you and to and to hear that and I have another love for, uh, for of my spirit and what resides in me it's an appreciation of my belief that there is a future that somehow or other, no matter what, I always think there is a future. And, you know, I want to have that. And I, I want to come back to this point in a minute. But first I want to go back to what I'm saying, a love of my spirit. Deep inside me, I have a love of who I am. Mm. And I'm asking you, if you do not have that love of who you are, think deeply. Take this time to look at yourself and your life and see what is really wonderful and valuable about you that maybe you are not valuing. Mm -hmm. And if there really is nothing there, which I seriously doubt, well then ask yourself, what do you think you could have that you could develop and focus on that because there is nothing like it. You know, I go out and I see the sky and I see the mountains and I feel my spirit and I say, yes, I love myself. So, now, I want to just sum it all up, I think, in a way. It's the love of life. It's the love of life and the mystery of the, of the unknown. And in the midst of some pandemic like this, it's so wonderful to recognize how much we love life. I, I realize that some of you are suffering terribly. Some of you are sick right now. Fortunately, I am no sicker than I usually am. And, you know, I'm not gasping for breath any more than I usually do, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Uh, and I really appreciate life. I love life. It's so interesting. It's like the river that's always <laughs> bending and bobbing and weaving. <laughs> so I want to say something about this love of life thing here. So we baby James and I have decided that we plan on living 15 more years. That would take us to our... 90s and that despite my poor health and our age we want to keep getting stronger and stronger so that we can have another 15 years of life because let me tell you when you get to our age those 15 years they go by pretty darn fast you know I, I don't want to give that up I, I want to have 15 more precious years. I just want to also add here that it doesn't mean we're limiting ourselves. Oh, it just no. means at least 15 years. <laughs> and we're going to do everything possible to have a healthy, wholesome lifestyle. Exactly. Exactly. So it's never too late to get stronger. I mean, I am doing exercises now that I've never done. And it's pretty nuts. You know, and I'm really, really, really trying to rev it up. You know, whether you need to do spiritual exercise, emotional exercise, you need to reach out to a friend. You know, that friend of mine that I hadn't spoken to, in, you know, barely in 55 years. I mean, it was it's so coincidental that she contacted me now. And we were able to connect. And I could feel that love from the past and the present and the future and the love of life. So what do you love about your life what do you love about yourself how and where can that love grow how can you turn this time into a deepening of your appreciation of what you have and who you are inside those things will make a difference a huge difference these days of the coronavirus will pass for some of us they'll end in death but for most of us they won't end in death they may end in bankruptcy <laughs> but they won't end in death but what doesn't have to die is the spirit and the self-love and the love of others So I invite you to look at those questions that I asked you to look at tonight. You know, what do you love about life? What do you love about yourself? 
How can you grow that love? How can you deepen your appreciation of everything that is? One of the things that I think is so beautiful is uh, I read today that Yosemite's wildlife is just going crazy and that the bear population has quadrupled. Ooh. You know, hey, maybe it's time for humanity to take a step back. <laughs> you know, clear the air a little bit and help remember what the natural world is and how much it gives to us. And we also, of course, want to thank those incredible people on the front line who, in the grocery stores, uh, you know, who are delivering, uh, uh, those who are in the medical field who are still risking their lives on a regular basis for us. And we want to send them our love and support, and we want to send our love and support to those people who have had to make very tough decisions that impact the rest of us, like our governor here in Oregon who shut this this state down fast. And we have been really lucky in terms of where we've been this, you know, thus far. And let's remember all those people who are shrinking into themselves now, who aren't finding the calm or the peace. And come watch Granny Rocks anytime you need to feel some calm or laughter or peace. Come watch us, right? Mm -hmm. Either live on the Mondays and Wednesdays or you can catch the archived uh, shows as well. Anytime. And, you know, keep those comments going and share these programs with people who need to hear them and see them. And don't forget to come to Dreams of Peace on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Time and where I play the piano from my heart to your heart and sweet baby James uh, answer, you know, brings over the comments and we have a good time. Uh, you, uh, you're coming to the concert hall with me these days. I actually got dressed the other day. Dressed up. I got dressed. I got dressed. <laughs> I wasn't wearing a robe. I got dressed and I got dressed up. Like you were dressed at a concert hall. Exactly, because I figured you guys, some of you would like to go to a concert. So, uh, I, I, you know, I try to provide that. And don't forget to look at our free video conference that is discussed in the post. And Every Thursday at noon. Every Thursday at noon Pacific time. And it's free, 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 free. And uh, I work with people and try to help people to find their strength and their love mm -hmm. and their well-being. Yes. So in the midst of the coronavirus, what's it still about? Love. Love. <laughs> you mean it's not about my hair? No. We love you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us as always. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.